<clears throat> Hello everyone and welcome uh, to this uh, audio podcast um, in this series, uh, The Lab Storm uh, Effect V3. Uh, in this uh, audio podcast, uh, or in this in this audio podcast, as part of this audio or the audio podcast series, the role of endogenous opioids in isochemic preconditioning (IPC) uh, (IPC) or IPC in in humans. Um, uh, uh, this uh, this uh, audio podcast uh, part of the series um, will look at um, will will uh, uh, look at um, sort of uh, the mechanisms the mechanism of um, of uh, the mechanisms of uh, uh, of transfer of uh, protection by remote isochemic uh, remote isochemic preconditioning or RAPC and uh, this is um, an audio podcast uh, aligned to a storm robotics soliloquy and uh, another storm robotics uh, production um, and uh, and so to begin uh, um, and so to begin studies uh, of uh, of several forms of protection or cardio protection against uh, isochemic reperfusion injury or IR injury seem to show or have highlighted that there are mechanistic similarities. However, uh, what has been very intriguing about RIPC is the mechanism of transfer of protection from one uh, one site um, one site uh, to uh, to another in context of physiology. A neural and or, uh, and or humoral pathway has been has been ident- has been uh, to some extent has been uh, identified and suggested. It works by Go uh, Go and colleagues um, uh, sort of uh, in in around the mid 90s in 96, 90, uh, 1996 who had that, who had identified who had identified the the sort of first evidence of a neural element in in remote isochemic preconditioning. Intriguingly, uh, the neural signaling of opioid peptide had been ca- uh, had been characterized in uh, in multiple roles, including bradycardia, bradycardia, tachycardia, hypertension, and hypotension. Neural factors include uh, neural um, neural uh, factors also include bradykinin, calcitonin, uh, calcitonin, generated. Uh, generated um, a generated peptide, um, bacterial lipopolysaccharide or LP, LPS, um, and uh, he, uh, uh, um, along with bradykinin, heat shock proteins or HSPs, and um, and so uh, uh, and uh, uh, in amongst in amongst uh, a few a few um, uh, other other um, uh, other um, uh, sort of neural neural elements in around. Uh, neural and physiological elements in around RIPC. It's works by Dick uh, Dixon um, and team in 99 in 1999, um, where they were f- uh, where where the first um, uh, first uh, where the first uh, the, uh, the, uh, where the first uh, initially dem- demonstrated or uh, had demonstrated the hum- the humoral uh, humoral uh, humoral component of RIPC, and the team transferred the coronary effluent. Uh, the coronary effluent um, of a preconditioned rabbit's heart um, uh, to an un, uh, to um, an unpreconditioned heart, which uh, was was then shown to exhibit uh, exhibit the same protection uh, exhibited by a preconditioned heart, and uh, potential uh, can uh, potential works or poten- sorry potential potential um, candidates uh, candidate for transfer of uh, the uh, the the uh, protective signal um, through humoral pathways include prostaglandins and hydrophobic compounds, which, uh, for example, are yet to be ide- had been uh, had been yet to be uh, uh, identified. But however, uh, however, at the same time, um, the humoral factors uh, humoral factors um, uh, uh, have included have been documented included um, uh, such as. Um, uh, such as norepinephrine, catecholamines, angiotensin two, and uh, and uh, endogenous endogenous um, uh, endogenous opioids. Um, the humoral, humoral and neural pathways are still are still uh, uh, are still a sort of a subject of a number of um, of uh, investor um, sort of prospective uh, prospective uh, investigations. In and around this um, as well. And in around this, uh, the um, to highlight to highlight some aspects um, 
um, uh, some aspects in around sort of the clinical, the clinical, uh, uh, clinical sort of as, um, the clinical in, uh, application, if you like, in around, uh, uh, in around, um, in around uh, a link between isochemic preconditioning and remote isochemic preconditioning. So the phenomenon of IPC or isochemic preconditioning can be observed in a number of clinical scenarios in which the heart protects itself with um, brief, ep brief episodes of, uh, of isochemia. Warm-up of angina refers to phenomenon of uh, increased uh, physical activity tolerance following an episode of angina, uh, angina after a period of, uh, of rest. And then pre-infarct angina uh, angina is, defi uh, is defined um, is defined as cardioprotective effect of uh, anti, uh, anti 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 uh, anti sudden anti sudden angina before uh, an acute myocardial infarction or MI resulting in smaller infarct size and improved clinical outcomes. Um, and in line this uh, in line to this as well, uh, our works had 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 identified that a meta analysis of 22 trials. 22 uh, trials, which uh, included data of uh, a total of 933 uh, recipients or patients, have found that application of I IPC induced ventricular arrhythmias, decreased uh, inotrope uh, requirements, and shortened the length of stay in an intensive care unit um, compared with with a controlled with a control group. And despite these potential advantages and effects, the need for uh, to intervene on the heart directly, uh, on the heart directly, and inherent risk of of thromboembolization arising from clamping, uh, a, a clamping, um, uh, uh, of uh, arising from uh, clamping in around the um, a, uh, in around the aorta, uh, for example, have prevented IPC. Uh, IPC from being um, have present have have uh, have have uh, have to an extent um, uh, have prevented to an extent uh, IPC um, uh, and um, and uh, some and some uh, and and some uh, and some uh, uh, focuses in around uh, RIPC um, from being um, uh, sort of adapted adapted in in uh, in the clinical setting. Um, uh, again, uh, again, in 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 uh, in in some in some regard, the next step and the next um, sort of audio podcast in this series, in this particular series, we'll look at to introduce um, the uh, introduce um, uh, endogenous opioids or EOPs, uh, EOPs um, or endogenous opioid peptides, EOPs, um, and uh, to elaborate on. On uh, sort of uh, their their function or their their uh, their, their function um, uh, uh, their function um, in around cardio uh, cardio protection or CP. So um, this draws uh, a close to um, this is uh, and to this particular audio podcast in this in this series the role of endogenous opioids in isochemic preconditioning and IPC in humans uh, and where this audio podcast was in around. The mechanisms of uh, remote isochemic preconditioning, or RIPC. This is um, uh, an audio podcast uh, around in around the storm robotic soliloquy, and this is um, an audio podcast uh, like to another storm robotic production and the and the lab storm the the lab storm effect V3. Thank you for tuning in.